Welcome back guys. Today we're going to talk about uh, TEC chilled reservoirs. Now this was a question that was asked and does come up quite regularly. The short answer is they absolutely work and this video is going to say that they work. The question is how well do they work? Without seeing the specific design it's completely impossible for me to make any, you know, actual I don't know what the right word is, uh, yay or nay on it. So I'll just talk about them in general. Um, people do do this quite commonly because they feel it is a pretty simple way to add it, which I would tend to agree. So before we can really talk about how well a uh, TEC chiller reservoir was going to work, we should talk about what the point of a reservoir is in the first place. Well, one of those reasons is to hold water. Okay, we don't really care about that. The other main reason for it is to get rid of air. So you'd normally have a, a straight pipe and you would have some water in there. And you'd have some annoying little bubbles. Now because the velocity inside the pipe is relatively high or should be high and it goes through things like a water block which which is designed to mix the water up you end up with lots of little very very small bubbles in your water and it's hard to get those out so the point of a reservoir or one of the points is to slow the velocity down so you might have the water coming in and like this you might have it going in like that through that little hole you also find there will actually be a hole along here. You might go over here. So the whole point of it is to reduce the velocity of the water so the little bubbles can float to the top. Because now they're not getting quickly you know, pushed along. So that being said, the point of the reservoir is essentially to reduce the velocity of the water while not creating a restriction that is a bit of a problem and as we as I've gone on many 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 times about jolly water velocities if you have your uh, TEC on the side of here oh get the right colour oh it's just too hard today this is supposed to be our TEC And we need some kind of heat sink. No, I did not do very well at art at school, as you can tell. It's supposed to be a heat sink. Then the water running past this. If you like must be very slow. Now the area of the barb here is 78.54 and the area across a 50mm reservoir is an awful lot more of just under 2000 square millimeters. So the velocity, if it was traveling this direction, would be way 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 slower than through the barb itself but I need to remind you it's actually not traveling this direction it's just trying to it's actually trying to, to, to travel this direction so the velocity is extremely slow now that is very 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 bad for cooling doesn't mean it's not going to work doesn't mean it's not going to cool it just means it will work significantly worse than if the velocity was a lot higher. This would result in a lot of, um, I actually guess, guess if it's cooling, I don't know what colour I can do for cooling. Or maybe a light blue. Some very, very, very cold water here against the TEC. Now, there are two basic designs which I've seen 
One which is essentially like this, where you've got a TC and heatsink strapped to the side of a, uh, a, a reservoir, and no internal fins. Now, if you do that, then the surface area in here is ridiculously small, and therefore its ability to transfer heat or remove heat from the water will be very, 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 very low. So to get this to work properly, you really do need another heatsink on the inside of the container. Now, there are some uh, things we need to mention about this. This should be made out of copper, not aluminium, otherwise you're going to have galvanic corrosion problems uh, between, well, when I've done it, between the <laughs> The copper radiator, it completely dissolved an aluminium water block and welded it to the inside of my, my copper radiator. So that should be made out of copper. Uh, the other thing you'll find is that water wants to take the path of least resistance. So if you put a heat sink in it like that, the water's not actually going to be that keen to go through it. Especially since it's so unrestrictive because of the diameter, it's not going to want to go sort of down here down these channels. It's just going to want to cruise around here and go around it. And lastly I guess I need to say is that this is a 50 mil reservoir. Presumably you're going to want to use a bigger TEC so the diameter is going to be larger than that. It's probably going to be something around 70 millimeter or more which is even greater in, in uh, square millimeters which means the velocity will be even slower. So at no point am I saying that TEC chilled reservoir, reservoirs don't work, they definitely do work. You just need to be aware that if you reduce the velocity they're going to work significantly worse than they could do. So when designing a TEC reservoir try and deal with the velocity and one way you might be able to do that is you might be able to have, say, well, obviously make it narrower if it was a rectangle instead of a square. And if you put a inlet in here and the outlet down here, let me just change the colour so we can see that. That's, oh, actually, how about using an inlet like that? No idea what that's supposed to be now. And you somewhat are encouraging the water to go like this. That would be far better than the current or the original way of doing it. Now this does have a hole in the very top. But I don't know how you can actually use that as a reservoir to get air out if you were to use that. But that's something to think about. So of course instead of using a reservoir, the by, by far the better thing would be to, to do would be to buy a TC water block uh, and uh, just put your fans and radiators on that and so it would be in line. The velocity wouldn't be reduced because it would be just in line. I don't know how to draw that. We just had a water block. and you had all of your heat sinks and whatnot. And on top of that, and not put it in part of as part of the reservoir, that would work significantly better. And of course you could you'd still need a reservoir, so you'd hook that into your existing reservoir. That would work the best. Uh, so, as I've said, uh, TEC cooled reservoirs definitely do work. If you're just going to buy something off the shelf and try and chuck a TEC into it, it wouldn't work as well as a custom built one. I realise that I have a circular one here which would be completely impractical and I have no idea how you could 
TC cool with a plastic circular one, but that was the picture I found, and these are the common ones that uh, people buy. I certainly had one of these in my water cooling system. So hopefully that helped, guys, and uh, ask some more questions. It's fun answering them. It's fun learning together, and hopefully we can make some really cool stuff. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Bye.